Cook along with us on the Clover Olive Pride Chefs Tour, a proudly South African cooking journey through the towns and dishes that made foodie heroes, such as the champion of traditional African cuisine, Luyanda Mafanya, master of fine dining, Chef Ruben Riffle, and proud flag bearer of National Bride Day, Jan Bry. Made with Olive Pride, prepare to be proud. This week on the Olive Bride Chef's Tour, having spent his morning in a quest for Saldana Bay's best West Coast mussels and fresh-caught linefish, Jan Bry prepares a famous recipe he learned on the islands of the Indian Ocean and showcases the art of brying seafood on an open flame. Isn't this brilliant? The Boma of the Blue Bay Lodge in Saldana. I say, if you're going to do a beach bry, do it right on the beach. The fire's burning, let's get into it. This is the best spot for prying in Saldana. Today I'm making fresh yellowtail on the fire bride, of course, basting it with a chimula sauce that I'm going to mix up now, and on the side some freshly steamed mussels. First things first, we get some olive bride blend onto the fish and coat that with salt and pepper. Now the chamula, I start by chopping parsley and dania. Then chopped garlic. I'm not bothered with chopping it finely. We're going to grind it up in the pestle and mortar anyway. Now for the spices, I've got paprika, cumin and coriander. The chamula triple crown. I'm going to season that with salt and pepper and add a squeeze of fresh lemon juice for acidity. And to finish it off, Olive Pride Extra Virgin Olive Oil, giving it the body that it needs. Another bit of peppery notes, of course, Extra Virgin Olive Oil goes very well with bright fish. It also goes very well with bright lamb chops, steak, pork and chicken. And then you just need this pestle and mortar to combine it all. This flavor combination, North African, Middle Eastern from Descent, but I picked it up growing fish with locals in Seychelles. Chimula is as simple as that. That's the prepping done, the coals are ready, let's braai. While Charlie's fish is braaiing, I've got some mussels. Fresh ones from the Mussel Mongo, also here in Saldana Bay. Now I whipped up a sauce in the poiki by frying onions in olive pride blend. There's also some carrot, garlic, celery in there, bit of cream, bit of white wine, and then the fresh mussels. When I braai fish, I like to do it flesh side down, facing the coals, soaking up all of that fantastic braai flavor and getting a bit of caramelized. Once the flesh side is done, flip it once, skin side facing the coals, the rest of the braai. I don't mind if the skin burns a bit. I'm not going to eat that. It acts as a natural foil. Once the skin side is facing the coals, I add the basting to the flesh side. Now it will braai like that until it's almost done. And then just a final minute or two with that basting facing the coals to caramelize all the fantastic flavors and unlock them. That fish is absolutely perfect. The mussels are looking and smelling great and it seems as though my guests are just on time. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome. Just on time. I finished drying. You didn't do anything. I did all of the work. Yes, John. Do you some lacquer work? We're employing at the Muscle Monger and West Dubai. Charlie, Carl, thanks for having me in Saldana. What a beautiful town on 
the west coast of South Africa, the most beautiful country in the world. I'm so proud of being South African, proud of local merchants, Charlie the fresh fish man, Carl the mussel monger, sitting on the Blue Bay beach, Boma, right on the beach having a braai. These things, uniting around a fire, sharing food, makes you proud to be South African and happy to be alive. Thanks for joining me on the Olive Pride Chefs Tour. I hope the next time that you have a lacquer bride home, you'll enjoy that with Olive Pride and prepare to be proud. Next week on the Olive Pride Chefs Tour, Jan bikes his way through the claim career at the farm of his family escape and picks a local speciality for a quai salsa to accompany those legendary lamb chops. <laughs>